Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. So we're going to get back on the Model A. Got a lot to do and I think we're going to go ahead and start sorting out um, some of the damage that was done way back when. And um, I'll go ahead and turn you around and we'll take a look at what we're going to do. So we got the car sitting up on the uh, chassis table. And the chassis is sitting in the other side of the shop. Go figure. But um, I wanted to put it on this table because I think I'm going to end up uh, bolting this body down. And um, that's going to help me push some panels around toward the back that needs to be done. But before we start going to the back, I'd like to start with this uh, A-pillar here. This, uh, this dude got some damage. And um, you can really see it. I've got like a, just a piece of steel here that I know that's cut, cut straight and square. And if you set it into uh this uh this notch right here it's supposed to be flat um up against the uh the a pillar all the way up but if you uh if you look on my car there ends up being like a half inch gap up there on top so this pillar is uh bent you know moving forward and uh it you know the epicenter of the damage is kind of like right around here we've talked about this crack here before when i first got the car you know i saw that and um i'd been trying to figure out you know how to, how could that happen and i've got some guesses but um i don't know for sure i I think that uh, the door may have been open and uh, somehow, I don't know if the car was backing up or whatever, but that, that door made contact with something that did not want to move and um, basically kicked that um, door and uh, the top part is what took the brunt of the damage. And this middle hinge it it got some some pain delivered it to it as well you can see it it's bulged out here um it's sunk in there it's going to require some work in that area too so now down here the bottom hinge doesn't seem to have any issues other than what i would say would be normal but uh, the middle one and then for sure up here on the top side has got to get addressed. So to do that, I've got a game plan. Let's talk about the game plan. So before I straighten up this A-pillar, I've got to get into uh, what's making it do what it's doing. And uh, I've got to remove this trim piece that goes all the way across. I need to get that out of my way. You can see how it's been kicked out. It also these tabs here um, secure it to the a pillar um, the tabs are all jammed up but it looks like there's enough that I could get to the two bolts that held it into position you can see this one here too and there's some bolts that um, I can ouch there's some bolts there along the bottom that I can remove and that'll get that out and then after I do that I gotta go top side I need to get my visor out of my way it's uh and it's been filled in uh, it's got some filler up in here and who knows what's going on up underneath the um, the upholstered top so I've got to peel that back and uh, do some excavation there where they tried to blend the visor and the sail panels there together get this visor out of my way and then i should be able to start moving things around i also need to get this bracket removed and um, you see i've got a gap here that I should be able to start working this thing 
this way um, and I'll check it with my with my straight edge along the way so first things first I'm gonna go ahead and remove this uh, this top trim above the uh, gas tank cow and uh, that's how we'll start it off Got a better shot here. Got the uh, straight edge in place. You can see when it's when it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. It should be flush up against that door, and it starts to open up. And when you get to the top there, it's a half inch off. So that's going to be my gauge of success: is to make that half inch go away and get this up against this edge right here. And that's why. It, I had a hard time with pulling these pins you can imagine the amount of stress that was going on with this top one and the middle one for sure um, with all that um, playing on that door hinge it was uh, was not going anywhere so I had to go ahead and pull the hinges but that is what we're working on there got the uh, tank off as you can see and um, probably gonna go ahead and cut the bottom out of that tank while I've got it uh, down there but uh, next thing is uh, what are we gonna do with this cow side 
and I uh, got to hang out with a friend of mine, Phil, at uh, Phillips Hot Rod Garage. He's uh, relatively local to me, about an hour and a half away. And uh, he came by yesterday and we did some horse trading. And uh, I kind of ran him through what I was thinking about as far as this, uh, this cow side that's got the damage. And um, I was able to bounce my ideas off of him and I was able to take some recommendations from him. So here's the new and improved plan. Now, if I didn't have a replacement cow panel, my my ideas would be different um but i do luckily enough i've got a pretty nice one it needs a lower patch panel put on it but other than that it's nice and straight i've cleaned it up a little bit i've did a couple of little repairs to it but everything is where it should be it's not got significant damage like my other side does so I'm thinking that because I'm lucky enough to have that right there that's telling me that I need to use it I really just bought it for you know like wall decor but with this one having the problems that it does um, I think it would be money well spent if I go ahead and change it out and let me tell you something this stuff right here this old padding material if you even say fire around it you better watch out this stuff is like the most flammable stuff I've ever dealt with and uh, yeah so be careful be careful around it um, for sure are you going to burn your shop down or your car um, fire starter yeah save this take it to the woods with you um, you'll never be cold again you just got to blow hard on this with some warm air and it'll ignite I'm serious it's so there's a lot of things a lot of negative things going on with this cow and uh, just a quick recap the door got hit there was damage to this cow and it made the cow move forward how far forward you may ask well it's about a half inch off of being where it needs to be it's kicked straight out and it's a little bit twisted um, so when that happened it had to have a place to relieve itself so it buckled here at the bottom this is an old lead repair and um, I'm not sure it was ever welded. It might have just been beat up, you know, beat back into place and then let it up because I didn't see a weld seam on the back side, on the inside. So it's kind of a mess. It's misshapen. And um, it's just not not in its happy place right now and other things around it isn't happy so that needs to get fixed up here you can see that they pretty much just took a two pound sledge to this post and when they did it they mashed out the top of this a pillar actually the a pillar skin it's it's in two pieces you've got a main structural beam and then you've got the skin that wraps around it and then it's tacked along the side that gap's not supposed to be there but that metal had to move so it popped the uh, the tacks and then it mashed out so you can imagine my my window was not fitting all that well because this thing was just in the wrong place in two different directions so if you look over here at the other one that's not affected We've got nice gaps. Angles are straight. And um, that's what we want this to be. So, and then this is all buggered up. This has been caved in during 
somewhat of a repair um, so that's a problem this is a problem that's a problem this got smooshed mashed bulged out um, this is a problem now up here can't see it very well because I'm doing a poor job with my lighting let's get some light on it bam okay you see that they've did some welding up in here and here it was probably blown apart by all the hammer blows that that right there was taken so they had to weld it back up so anyway up oh, another issue so here's the bracket that um, bolts these together the roof to the uh, a pillar I just need to flatten that up and it'll be good again but with all that going on with this piece right here and the fact that I've got a nice donor and when I say nice that's all relative in these conversations but um, it's straight all the original contours are there um, both panels need replacement metal at the bottom so that's kind of a they null each other out as far as that goes both of them needs that this one has got some pinholes on this uh, bead and this bead is what uh, the stainless steel trim band um, it basically gives it some sort of control it won't like slide left or right it'll it's on over this bead here so that needs to be repaired I think I can do little tack jobs on there and grind it down and save that bead um, somebody did a pretty pretty neat job with removing it from the uh, the firewall that was attached to it I've done a little bit of cleanup on the panel stripping it down it's not stripped down to where I'd want to paint over it forever and ever but uh, it's pretty clean right now my angles are are good it's nice and straight it's not mashed out like the other one so what am I getting at you know where I'm going with this um, I'm gonna put this panel in there I am gonna replace it so what I'm doing is figuring out uh, what I want to what I want to do before I start cutting things apart I've got to drill through the pinch welds that are on this piece and I've got the uh, the brace here on the cow I need to get that removed and then let's go down below here let's talk about the sub rails I've got to do some some prep down in the sub rail area I've got some uh, you can see I've got the the rivets here that I need to grind down and um, and I've got a uh, air hammer I'll be able to split these two pieces apart I'm just gonna cut this old bolt here this is one of my main main bolts that would have went through the uh, the block um, to the frame take care of that and I, there might be a couple of other pinch welds along the way over on this side this really isn't the focus of our effort but I I'll probably go ahead and get rid of this and uh, pull this out and uh, yeah just get it cleaned up while we're under here let's talk about the sub rails for a second you know I've got that new set of sub rails and I was planning on putting a new set in here but these are really these are really in good shape they're rusty they need to be sandblasted they need to be primered and done up but they are really solid as far as sub rails go and I don't know if the uh, benefit is worth 
the work as far as stripping these sub rails out and swapping them out if I don't have to. So I'm kind of on the fence on that. Um, in any case, they're definitely going to get saved or used, one of the two. But I ain't decided yet what I'm going to do with these right now. Really, my floor, not that bad. Got a couple of spots coming through right there underneath the seat. Uh, that's probably going to get swapped out, though, for a flat a flat panel. And uh, on back here, it's got some, some problems, but the sub rails are good all the way through. My trunk, my trunk metal is good all the way. So really, the only the only bad spot, seriously bad spot, is back behind the seat, right around there. So let me go ahead and get you guys set up. I'm gonna get this area here opened up here. So let's go.
Okay, I think this is where I'm going to leave it for tonight. I'm pretty happy with um, what I got done. Tomorrow, I need to uh, do a little bit of dress up on some of the areas that um, I'm going to use, you know, as a fastening area. Clean that up on both sides, get the rest out of there. And uh, clean up the rail, maybe shoot a little bit of primer on it, on uh, on that and the other pieces as well, just to where I know that uh, inside there is good and clean and sealed. The um, I went ahead and used, I had a complete subrail kit and uh, went ahead and used a piece of that because this one was not in great shape and um i could still fix it but um you know it's really not a priority this thing was a booger to get out and um finally got it out and but i've got i've got an issue i've got to sort out here i'm not getting the best fitment um, this edge in relation to the skin and um, I'm wondering if that's not uh, the skin being folded out like that right there I wonder if that comes from uh, the door action um, the door swinging um, puts uh, stress on this pillar and maybe it just uh, Maybe it makes it want to kick out like that. I don't know. But I might try to knock this in a little bit. Um, where it's really apparent is down here low. You can see I've, I'm a, it's got a notch here that's supposed to set up on the shoulder. And you can see it's kicked over. It needs to go over about three quarters of an inch down at the widest. This didn't look all that great. Um, it doesn't do its job very well being out that far. So, I need to sort that out. Looking at the the other one, it doesn't look that pronounced. And then if you go over to the passenger side, it doesn't look bad at all. And it fits really nice up there in that corner. So, I don't know. I don't know if that's just a thing that happens through the years or what. But this piece is, this piece is fixing to get in and get checked for its alignment. But, uh, yep. Yeah. Good day all around and uh, we'll get back on it.